Well, Emmett, I, I, I'm, I'm right there with you. I think growing up in the 90s, watching the Cowboys dominate, watching Barry Sanders with those ooh-wee plays, it had us coming to talk about the tell of the tape to which back was better. Now, this is my personal opinion. So, we go to elusiveness. Uh, Emmett has some really good runs, but when you talk about Barry Sanders' way he was able to make some people miss without even seeing the way he shook up John Lynch, we're definitely going to give that to him. I mean, seeing some of those open field moves was definitely tough uh, for guys to tackle. Now, we get to toughness. And part of playing running back, I don't know if TD really understood what this was about, but, but toughness, man. Like, you got to play through injury. You got to play through pain. We saw the game where Emmett Smith played through that shoulder, and it was, it was, it was definitely something that was, it was crazy to see, and we all learned that way. Explosiveness, you talk about giving the guy uh, the ball anywhere on the field, he could take it the distance, and that was Barry Sanders. You can give it to him on the one-yard line. You can give it to him on either side, going out or going in, and he find a way to make it. And then vision is probably the toughest one for me because both guys had great vision. Now, I'm going to lean this towards Barry just because he didn't play with as much talent as Emmett did and he had to make uh, a lot out of a little. And so from the teletape, I don't know, Chris, if UTD and LT would agree with me, but to me, in my personal opinion, Barry Sanders is probably the best back in the league. All right, well, let's la add another layer to this discussion, MJD. If you look at the all-time numbers. We get it. Barry Sanders retired early. But look at the yards per carry. Now, yeah. I get it. Emma Smith, number one all-time in rushes, rushing yards, and rushing touchdowns as well. But played for an awfully long time. So, I mean, it's fair to say, right, you you were one or the other ooh, as far as a ooh. fan of what he's working at. I'm just there. like, oh, that's just, that's tough. But longevity, ahead, continue, I, I think, continue, again, right. I think what, what I didn't get to put up there, longevity is something that with a running back position should be another attribute. Yeah, but it is Barry hard Sanders to play called it quits. He, he, wasn't, yeah, yeah, no, he, he walked did. out the game. No, that's fine, but um, it's, it's hard to play long so like it's, both those guys. It's simple. You were either an Emmett guy or a Barry guy growing up I, because – one was drafted in 89, one was drafted in 1990. What? Are you, what? You're not buying that? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, I don't think you have to be either or, honestly. Um, so, but how many discussions uh, were there uh, if Barry had Emmett's offensive oh, line? There, yeah, oh, there quite were, a few. Uh, uh, quite, yeah, a yeah. lot. A lot of them. But at the same time, I think they were so great at what they did. For example, Emmett had great balance as well. Yes. Very rarely did Emmett get hit and get knocked off balance. He, he would stay on... Balance like, mm -hmm. like, like no one else. Yeah. You know, I know Barry had the the great runs and and you know the lateral movements, but when you think about Emmitt Smith, sometimes he was breaking a lot of tackles. You know, once he got through that first wave, guys was hanging off him. So they both had, you know, great balanced runners. But at the end of the day, this is how I looked at it, guys. So these guys was both in their prime when I was growing up. Yep, I loved both of them, and that's the reason why I couldn't pick. Who you going with, LT? Who you going, going with either to? one of them. That's why I wore number 21. Oh, uh, 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 I, 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 I couldn't pick between 22 uh, and 20. Uh, I respect it. Okay, okay. Listen, I, I can appreciate that. Uh, but for me, it's about when I watch a guy play and I see the pure talent and skill set, it's Barry. It is Barry has got a God-given talent that I don't know if you can train, if you can try to mimic somebody and come off and have that kind of skill set. And I've and I watched Emmett for many years, and I appreciate Emmett, but this is, to me, this is right here, there's only one back that I consider better than this man to ever play the game, and that's Jim Brown. Barry is just exceptional in the way he runs. He's very efficient, great vision. So are we talking, talking about, about just a runner, though? Yeah. You know what I mean? Or we just talking about pure running? I'm you know, because when you think about Emmett, there were times, to be to be honest, there were times that Barry got taken out on the goal line. Right, right. He that didn't. never happened to him. That, that you know what I mean? So, so you got that has to and, play and, a factor. Right, and Barry, and, right, and Barry, you know, people would. I guess the one knock would be that Barry would lose a lot, a lot of yards because yeah. he would take chances, right? right? So the way his running style was right. reverse and field, he would lose some yards. And Emmett was just everything was positive yards with Emmett, right? He get hit, right. he's gonna drag you four yards. But LT, look at this man on tape. Well, right no, look, at this, well, look at this. Well, the thing. Look, well, look at this beauty. The look one at this. thing I'll say, yeah. there's no question about that. <laughs> the best pure runner put the ball in his belly is Barry Sanders. There's no question about that in, in my mind. One but game to win. That's talking what I'm about, saying. One game, one game to win. Um, well, well, you got to give me a situation. Is it the whole game, or are you going to give me a situation? Yeah, like, that might be I got him on that. That might be him. Yeah, me. So for me, again, you know, I've only been starstruck once, and it ain't because of you, too. <laughs> um, as a hey. shorter back in the league, like, 
it was hard. Like, I, I mean, Darren Sproles was the guy I looked at, um, Warwick Dunn, but Barry Sanders was the standard for short running backs. Yeah. And so I got a chance to actually meet him at a Super Bowl one time. And I, you know, normally you just be like, hey, how you doing? Like, I couldn't even speak. I was like, <laughs> that's Barry Sanders. That, I was like, that's Barry Sanders. And my, and my agent was like, go say so. He's, you want to talk? I, I couldn't even talk. <laughs> Because kind of like whole, right now right, when you're talking well, no, about no, it. Because yeah, my, yeah, whole, because my yeah. whole game, I em, I tried to emulate is what he did. And so you meet someone, and he was so kind and just like, he was like, man, I watched your tape and this and that. And and I was like, what can I, what, how can I be better, you know? <laughs> and But I, I think, again, it just depends on what you are as a runner. I don't think Adrian Peterson watched Barry Sanders. Because that's not his style. He may have watched him. But that's not his style, right. though. So he emulated someone else, and that's kind of what it is. He, he, he can't go wrong either way.